Hi, this is Joanne Jaybird Phillips from the U.S. Press Association, and I'm sitting here on a hot, sultry day in the in the baked apple here in Manhattan uh, in, in the summer, and I'm sitting with a most extraordinary and talented gentleman. Um, and again, you'll. I'm going to read some notes because I don't want to miss out anything here. But I'm here with great American animator, graphic designer, cartoonist, filmmaker, and the man known as the king of independent animation, Mr. Bill Plimpton. Hello, how are you? Fine, how are you today? Thanks for coming to my studio right here in Chelsea, New York. Uh, wonderful to be here, and in fact, right in front of a drawing this board. Where I, I make all my films. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, you don't leave me speechless because I won't have anything to say in an interview. <laughs> um, of course, you're a very unique individual. I know you're the only modern animator to personally hand draw every frame on all of your work. Well, sad to say that's not true anymore. I was the first one to do it. Now with, uh, with uh, laptops and digital technology, everyone's doing it. In fact, it's very exciting that there's young kids today are making feature films at home without using a big Disney studio or Pixar. Right. They're doing it by themselves. So it's a real revolution going on right now. Wow, technology is really uh, it's taking amazing. Hold. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, you give master classes? I do. I do. I've done it at Pixar, Disney, DreamWorks, Blue Sky, all over Europe. I mm. love it. It's fun. Are you finding a, a big calling for that? It is, because everybody wants to get an animation. Everybody sees this animated cartoons on TV and on movie theaters and on the Internet, and they say, I can do that, and they can. So I, I try to uh, help them out, teach them wh what to do, the wow. tricks of the trade. Wonderful. Um, a little bit about your history, um, because I do want to talk about revenge and Good, mo first you. and foremost. But it would be nice to let people know a little bit about your background and sure. where you come from uh, that has made you the amazing talent that you are today. Um, you were nominated for an Academy Award in 1987 yep. Yep. Uh, for um, the short film Your Face. Correct. Uh, you won the 2001 Grand Prix Prize for short films at the Cannes Film Festival. Yep. And I know there's a multitude and countless amount of other awards, yep. uh, which I won't list here or, or say now. Um, and as an author, you've got the sleazy cartoons of Bill Plimpton. Right. <laughs> it's going in the sixth edition. <laughs> nice. I, yes, and I know at least another dozen other books. Yes, a lot of books. I did a book with Kanye West. Really? Yeah, and I have a big book of my uh, coffee table book of all my art put out by Rizzoli. Very nice. So it's very, uh, very successful. Is there a favorite book of yours that you have that uh, sort I of like stands the, out? I like the big Rizzoli book, Independent World of Bill Plimpton. And it's a very, very cool book. Get it at your local bookstore or Amazon or wherever you want. Wonderful. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, very cool book. Yeah. Um, is it true <laughs> that you grew up in Portland, Oregon, and because of the constant rain that you were drawn to stay inside so much that you started drawing? Yeah, that, there's not much to do inside because uh, outside it was pouring rain. So I, and I love to draw. Okay. So I just all the time every day all day long but uh, the ba the sad thing is I never had enough paper I couldn't get enough paper so I used old envelopes and and mm. and uh, letters from you know from business letters and things like that the back of that I would d d make my drawings well oh, whatever was at hand that's right okay. you got to be resourceful well, without now, a doubt now I have too much paper. <laughs> <laughs> paper <laughs> Feast everywhere. or famine. Yeah. Did you watch a lot of cartoons on TV I growing did. up? I did. I loved Disney. Uh, I watched some of the Disney uh, programming, uh, Mickey Mouse Club and The Wonderful World of Disney. And then also the Warner Brothers stuff. I loved uh, Tex Avery, Bob Clampett, yeah, sure. Bugs Bunny, Daffy yeah, Duck, too, that yeah. stuff. That was really inspired me with my humor. A lot of my humor is, yeah, is stolen from Warner Brothers. So did you know pretty much for early on as a child that this is the path you wanted to take? Yeah, that was what I wanted to do. I was, um, I think, 10 years old when I said, yeah, I want to I want to make cartoons like those on TV. I yeah. want to be that guy. At 14, I understand that you sent some uh, work to Disney yes. and, and offered yourself as an animator there. Yes. Is that a, a little brazen? I, did, I didn't offer myself as an animator. I said, you know, what do you think of my work? Okay. Uh, is, it, uh, is it good enough, you know? And they sent me a nice letter back, and um, and uh, so that was my goal, to work for Disney, to be a Disney animator. Wow, amazing. At college, I think you were in the the, uh, the film club there? Yep, right. yep. I um, programmed films. I made the posters, designed the posters for the for all the films that were showing, like Bergman or Godard or Fellini, 
people like that. Okay. Um, and then I tried my hand at animation in college, and it was a huge failure. Um, and I, uh, the film was shot upside down. I didn't know mm -hmm. that it was shot upside down. So, and it was a lot of work, so I felt, oh, yeah, I got to work for Disney to, to make a film that's really commercial. Right. Yeah. So I was very disappointed, and it was a really bad start for my career. Mm, okay. Well, but a lesson learned, because we all hit that's the bumps exactly in the road it. at some point. Lesson learned. That's sure. It. Sure. Um, would you say that most of your, your work, um, whether film or in, in book form, has an underlying current of uh, darkness or noir in it? Well, that's the interesting thing that even though I would love Disney films and, and that's what I grew up on, um, as I got older, I, I tended more towards adult. Uh, they were very violent, they're very sexual. I found that's where my humor was. It wasn't with little animals singing songs and playing uh, instruments. Right. I love the crazy, bizarre, twisted. You know, I, I watched a lot of New Yorker cartoons, and, and those were very dark, especially Charles Adams. Okay. And people like that really influenced me a lot. So that was the route I took. So to answer your question, yeah, I love noir. I love mm -hmm. uh, dark humor. I love... Um, crazy, sexy, violent, surreal, uh, twisted stories. And you know what, it, it's interesting because it's really not what's popular out there. Right now it's all Pixar and Disney. Mm. And I don't want to do that stuff. I don't want to compete with them. I can't compete with them. They have too much money and too much expertise. So I like to take my own path, do my own uh, style of films. And that's why I chose uh, more adult adult animation. Okay. And in uh, fact, the film that we're going to show out in LA, Revengeance, yes. is a very typical uh, example of that kind of humor that I want to do. And, and before I forget it, and we'll pick up on it again in a few moments, mm -hmm. is congratulations again yeah. on that film, Revengeance, was just uh, screened at the uh, Independent Film Center yes. here in Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, Multi-day screening, I understand. Yeah, multi-week. Yes. Been wonderful. And the reviews have been great. We've been we've won a number of awards, and in, it's all be, already been released in France to a huge success. Oh, great! So we're hoping the same success in. I think uh, it was an August third the release here. In, yes, right, you're right. right. Okay. You're right. Um, ah, the New York Times, and this I'm going to read because I want to quote. The New York Times has called you mischievous, mordant, analytical, and ceaselessly imaginative, and Matt Groening, who's the creator of The Simpsons, referred to you as God. Is there anything else that you would like to be called? <laughs> no, that's enough. That's enough. I think Matt Groening said that when he was drinking. I think he was <laughs> drunk, and it was, we were at a party, and okay. we were interviewing him and for something. I forget what it was, and he said, oh, yeah, Bill Upton's God. So uh, that's cool. I'm not, I'm not going to deny it. I mean, uh, if he wants to say that, that's... Let it run. Okay. Uh, how'd you come up with the dog series? Guard dog, guide dog, uh, horn dog. Yeah, I was um, running around the park, Madison Square Park here in Manhattan, in Chelsea. And I saw this dog barking at a little bird. And I wondered, why is the dog afraid of this tiny, cute little bird? And then I went inside the dog's brain and realized that he was fearful that the bird would attack his master and he would lose his, his home, his meal ticket, his companion. And I thought, oh, that's kind of a wacky idea. It's kind of bizarre. And so I went, I went, ran right home and started drawing the, the dog and drawing the, the storyboard. That's great. I did watch some of it. I, I loved oh, it, everything. You. Yeah, it's very popular. I think I'm up to number six in the series. Uh, guard dog, guide dog, hot dog, right. um, horn dog, horn dog, top right. dog. Oh, that was and, just two more. And okay. Guard dog. Um, uh, um, uh, it's, a, it's a compilation of lots of people's uh, impressions of Guard Dog. Right, okay. Um, so let's talk about Revengeance, which is the current film that was mm -hmm. just released here. Um, I, I know that's a bit of a... Uh, you described this in, a, in an interview you did elsewhere. Um, that the film is sort of Tarantino meets animation. That's right. If Tarantino was an animator like me, I think he would do something pretty close that's to That's an this. extraordinary statement. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's, it's true. I mean, this film is really outrageous. It's really um, uh, crazy humor. Uh, but I, I really can't take credit for it. Uh, Jim Lujan, who's an L.A. cartoonist and animator, it was his script, and it was his uh, character designs, his voices, and his music. 
I did the production, I did the storyboards, I did the animation, and I directed it. So it's really a, a, a co-production between Jim Lujan and myself. Um, and he's really uh, um, grew up in this kind of underbelly of L.A., you know, biker, outlaw bikers and mm -hmm. corrupt politicians and weird uh, occult uh, religions and crazy party scene and drug scene and all that sort of stuff. And he really nailed these characters. He really is very observant. He knows what they wear, what, how they move, how they mm -hmm. talk, the things they say. And I certainly don't, don't know that. So that's why I really wanted to do this film because it was a world that I wasn't aware of. I didn't know anything about. So it was, it was a wonderful journey for me to, to make these guys act and, and, and respond and fight and get crazy with each other. Okay, and I believe this was your first time co-directing. It is. How'd I, you like that role? I, I, I did, liked it a lot because I had a lot of the pressure off me because if ever I wanted to, to change some dialogue, I say, hey Jim, can we come up with another line? So Jim was the one that really really uh, took over. I do want to say one thing though that I found after watching it with some audiences that it's a perfect stoner film. Yeah. So now that uh, marijuana is going to soon going to be legal here I think if there's anybody high and wants to see a, a crazy film go see Revenge. Well then you might as well bring back Fritz the Cat. Yes exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And I know it's legal in L.A. now, in, in Los or California now, so it's not a problem. Uh, you, I, I know that your, your films have developed such a loyal, a huge loyal following that mm -hmm. um, there's a cable channel called um, Shorts HD that bought the rights to all of your, all your of work. Yeah. work. And they, they put up a, a Bill Plimpton um, channel on iTunes. Right. So subsequently, anything that's still coming out will all go on to that? No, uh, that's been, uh, that contract ran out. Okay. Uh, I think uh, last year, perhaps. And, but what we are building right now is a Bill Plimpton channel. Mm. Is that on YouTube, John? Where's that going to be? What's that? The Bill Plimpton channel. Uh, ideally, yeah. Yeah. So uh, if people didn't hear him, he said yes. Yes, yes. I'm sure here. yes. <laughs> um, and we're building that right now. So soon that'll be the home of all of my uh, films. And I've made a lot of films. I've done like eight animated features. Right. I've done about 100 animated shorts. And plus commercials and little little short films. Right, television. So we'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll put yeah. a lot of that stuff on. So and what's next now with Revengeance? Uh, well, we're going to open in L.A. Um, on Friday, this Friday, the 10th. The 10th. And I will be there to introduce a film. I'll Wonderful. be giving away uh, free drawings for everybody. Nice. And we may have some door prizes, so it'll be real fun. Uh, Jim Lujan's going to be there, and he's much funnier than me. I'm the straight man. He's the funny guy. So it'll be very entertaining, and we're hoping that it, it gets uh, held over for another week, just like the New York uh, film did, because we, this is such an L.A. film. Okay. And it's such a stoner okay, film. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> but we think it's going to get a really, really good crowd. Okay. And then we're going to open up wide. We have a lot of uh, cinemas that want the film, so right. we're, we're working on those deals right now. Excellent. Is there another book in the offing? No book yet. Um, I'm shopping around one book, but who knows when that's going to happen. Right. <clears throat> but I'm really concentrating on films right now. That seems to be the place that I, uh, I, I really love to do. I love to make films. I love to draw people moving and crazy things. So that's my, that's my true love. Okay, and I understand that the, uh, the film Revengeance was well received here at the yes. Independent uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Film Center uh, just uh, this past week. Yeah. So it's nice to get that you know, initial feedback right away. It is. It's very good. Where can people find you online if they want to uh, follow you? Uh, they can go at plimtoons.com, and that's you can see uh, a lot of stuff there. Okay. Any place else, John? John's my main man here. He's the one that knows all these things. We're talking <laughs> to John. He's off screen, but he, you know, he's, he's, he's hello, part John. of this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's back there behind the computer. Well, I'm going to say break a leg, you know, okay. in the opening in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, a, a marvelous talent, uh, an incredible history. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I could write, you know, 100 pages about you. Well, thank you very um, much. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. Yeah, I know you got to head out of t head out of town really quickly. Yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow morning at uh, five o'clock in the morning. Okay. So. All right. Um, hopefully I'll make it. Well, maybe be a little cooler here in, the, in New York at that hour. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so this is Joanne J. Bird Phillips sitting here with filmmaker Bill Plimpton in the hot baked apple today, coming to you all the way from out there in the J. Bird universe. 
for the U.S. Press Association, and I know if I don't do this, I'm going to hear it, so i got to ditch the notes. Ah, <laughs> I see. I get it. 